Hi guys, I'm Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to use this intro to officially announce that I've changed my channel name from VSC Look to Vivian Fung. Now, many of you might be like, why are you changing it? Why are you dropping VSC Look? Why? So for one very simple reason, VSC Look is difficult for many people to pronounce, to remember, to spell. I feel like my channel name is my brand name now. It should be strong, easy to remember, and it sticks, you know? The past two years, I knew that I would probably have to change my name sometime down the road, but I just wasn't sure when. And these days, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense to me that I should do it now. So if you guys didn't know, my name's Vivian. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's jump right into our topic for today, which is how to get rid of milia. Milia, milia, milia. If you're not sure what milia is, I will link images here. Hmm. You might be like, what is milia? Milia are those kind of annoying but not really noticeable bumps, the kind of pinpoint hard white looking cysts on the skin. They don't hurt, they don't itch, you don't really feel them. Now, I don't always get them. What causes me to get milia is when I use really emollient products. So skincare that is too greasy for me. Um, I have dry skin, so I'm always looking for really moisturizing products, but at the same time, uh, my skin can't take really, really emollient, oily products. So I have to find a really fine balance between the two. Now, if you're curious as to what product has caused Milia for me, their History of Who skincare. Now, I'm not saying that History of Who is not good because I think they're a really great skincare brand, but they're just not made for my age right now. I'm still a little young for that skincare range, but um, let's say like 10 years down the road, I would definitely go back and retry History of Who products. Also skin injuries, if people have a cut or some kind of burn uh, while it's healing or after it healed, some people might notice that milia bumps start to form around those areas. When you don't exfoliate your skin enough, the oils and dead skin cells start to build up right underneath the epidermis, right in the pore lining. So um, since you're not helping exfoliate and shed the dead skin cells, more oils and dead skin cells start building up and that's how milia bumps form. So how do you prevent milia? Regular exfoliation is very important so that you help shed the dead skin cells. And again, for people who are prone to milia, they haven't found a reason why some people are more prone to it than others. It could be because of oily skin. It really depends on your skin, um, genetics and things like that. So another way to prevent milia is to stop using harsh products that cause skin reactions. The products that make my skin react the most a lot of times, cleansers and moisturizers. Those two cause milia for me the most. Cleanser, probably more like, like pimples and stuff, and moisturizers, more like milia but those two I have to be very careful with. And of course, it's key to exfoliate on the regular without irritating the skin. And what I mean by that is to not use physical scrubs. They actually irritate the skin a lot, especially for somebody who has milia already, that will cause milia to form even more. And use skincare that exfoliates for you. So those are like lactic acid, glycolic acid, retin-A, and things like that. Those will help shed the layer of dead skin cells for you. It helps with anti-aging too because you're not like physically rubbing your face and stuff. Another great way to exfoliate is to wash your face with a towel, flannel. Um, so what I do is I use a clean one every night and I have clean ones on rotation. So I'm gonna grab one. After I cleanse, double cleanse, I will gently massage my face with a towel to help uh, you know get off any dirt in your pores that you collected throughout the day, get off any makeup residue if you wore makeup that day, and it helps with gentle exfoliation. So washing your face with a towel is awesome. And if you're into facials, I think most girls are, or you have extra money to splurge, regular facials is amazing for keeping milia at bay. Now the next question is how to get rid of milia once they're formed already. So you're gonna continue regular exfoliation, or if you're somebody who likes to use additional products after your skincare routine like masks, then I would skip out on those additional skincare products for a day or two. Let your skin calm down. Of course, cleanser, toner, 
uh, a couple actives and a really gentle moisturizer. If it's just like a minor, you know, primary milia type thing, you can visit an esthetician or go get a facial and they might be able to remove it for you. Now, let's say that you have more of a severe case of milia bumps, um, a lot of them, or you just can't seem to get rid of it, even with facials, then I would definitely go see a dermatologist and have them remove it for you because doing it at home, like the DIY milia bump removal thing is too risky in my opinion. Like it's your face, you only have one. And if you scratch at it, if you pick at it, um, even with the needles that they tell you to use, you just don't know if you poke too deep or it will cause scarring. Now another method to get rid of really persistent milia is to get chemical peels or microdermabrasion. Now let's say that you're successfully able to clear up your milia. What do you do now? I would say exfoliate twice a week, gentle exfoliation only, and of course uh, stay away from all the products that you think might have caused it. So these are tips on how to get rid of milia. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do share with us your experience if you had milia before, your success stories, your not so successful stories, <laughs> and the products that you think might have caused milia and what helped um, get rid of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!